Hello again from Radius Bridge. Today I'll be going over the website vulnerability scanner report that we offer on our website. You can check it out at store.radiusbridge.com slash pages slash penetration testing and I'll have a link in the description as well. Now the domain name on this report has been changed for client privacy. I'm going to go ahead and explain some concepts in more simple terms as I go along so let's check it out. So as you can see here, this is the PDF that the scanner spits out. You get these once a week and it is an in-depth scan showing security issues as compared against a suite of constant updated tools, which is OpenVAS or OpenVOS. This test should be run regularly as there are new threats always being discovered. So in this particular report, the overall risk is high here. We can see the risk rating. We see that they have two high, one medium, and then 14 low. We have the scan information over here, such as scan duration, how long it took, but let's check out the actual vulnerabilities in their website. So when you get the report, you get the vulnerability up here. In this case, it's a SQL injection or SQL injection. It also gives you the risk description and recommendations and some more information about the vulnerability. So what is a SQL injection? It's a vulnerability caused by improper input sanitation and allows an attacker to inject arbitrary SQL commands and execute them directly on a database. So what is a SQL injection simply explained? A hacker identifies a vulnerability in a website that has input fields such as usernames and passwords. A malicious line of code is inserted into said fields and is executed by the database that is storing the usernames and passwords and then the hacker is granted access to view and alter records or potentially act as the database administrator. So in this instance, they had three different SQL injections, as you can see here, which is one of the outputs the scan gives you, and then something we can correct here at Radius Bridge. High priority vulnerabilities need to be corrected right away. Your website can easily be compromised by vulnerabilities such as SQL injections. Let's go check out the rest. Right here we have file inclusions. So right now we have one of these on this particular website. And again, I took out the attack vector just to make sure we have some privacy for this company. So let's look at the risk description. Local file inclusions, also known as LFI, is the process of including files that are already locally present on the server by exploiting the vulnerability inclusion procedures implemented in the application. So what is a local file inclusion vulnerability simply explained? If the developer fails to implement sufficient filtering, an attacker could exploit the local file inclusion vulnerability by replacing contact.php, which is on the suffix of a URL, with the path of a sensitive file, such as a password file, where passwords are stored on a Unix system, allowing the attacker to see its content. So an attacker can easily replace the suffix of a URL, allowing them to see things such as passwords. So let's scroll down a little bit more and check this out. So right here we have interesting files found. This is basically something to go through and make sure that the previous vulnerabilities aren't on these web pages, such as the admin login page section found on the, on the control panel, which is common, which could mean that it's susceptible to something like a SQL injection. These files folders usually contain sensitive information which may help attackers to mount further attacks against the server manual validation is required. So again, the recommendation here is basically you just go through and make sure all these files have secure code so there's no attack vectors present and hackers can't get into your website. So right here we have a low risk one. I'm gonna go ahead and go over this one though. So the response headers for the secure page, which is HTTPS, do not contain the strict transport security header. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the description right here and then I'll give you a simplified example. The HTTP strict transport security header instructs the browser to initiate only secure HTTPS connections to the web server and deny any unencrypted HTTP connection attempts. Lack of this header permits an attacker to force a victim user to initiate a clear text HTTP connection to the server, thus opening the possibility to eavesdrop on the network traffic and extract sensitive information. So what does that mean simplified? Let's say you are in a hotel with open unsecured Wi-Fi and you visit your bank website. Usually, secure websites will always have HTTPS as the prefix and not HTTP. That open unsecured Wi-Fi you think you got on is actually a hacker's hotspot. With missing strict transport security headers on a website, if you type in HTTP colon slash slash bank dot com or just bank dot com, you could be redirected to an unsecure clone version of your banking website where the hacker can steal your information. When strict transport security headers are correctly inserted into your website's code, the first time your site is accessed using HTTPS and it returns the strict transport security header, the browser records this information so that future attempts to load the site using HTTP will automatically use HTTPS instead. So as I scroll down, you can see that there are more light vulnerabilities that we at Radius Bridge can take care of for you. So let's scroll down a little bit more to where the apps are. 
So we have the server software and technology found, which if you have a WordPress website, these are usually apps. Um, as you can see right here, we have the risk description right here. An attacker could use this information to mount specific attacks against the identified software types and versions. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you that they do have one. So what this is is Gravity Forms is installed based on the version number in the change log. It is vulnerable to authenticated SQL injections, just like the first vulnerability I discussed with you. So this could be something as easy as an outdated plugin, which needs to be updated. As you can see, the report does give you a lot of information to make sure your website is safe and secure. If you would like more information, you can visit us at radiusbridge.com or call us at 800-407-5668. And we look forward to talking to you.